In this episode based on a special omake, Naruto convinces Sasuke and Sakura Haruno to help him see what Kakashi's face looks like under his mask. Each one of their plans, such as buying him ramen to force him to remove his mask while he eats, fails in a comedic fashion. At the same time, they inadvertently and unknowingly thwart attempts by three ninja to kill Kakashi for goofy reasons. Finally, Kakashi agrees to take off his mask, revealing another slightly paler mask beneath it. Team 7, without Kakashi, is given a mission to protect a young man, Idate. During his foot race against a rival clan that will settle the feud between the two. Idate, however, has a strong distaste for ninja. At the start of the race, he runs off in the wrong direction, confusing everyone. Team 7 follows Idate to another port, which makes for a better starting point of the boating part of the race, due to the winds and the current. En route, they are attacked by the rain ninja from the Chunin exam. Who have been hired by the other clan. Team 7 defends Idate and tell him to swim for the shore, while they follow later. He does so, but is confronted by Aoi, an Omegakur ninja. Aoi taunts Idate and attacks him. Team 7, who are still swimming for the island, are attacked underwater by the rain ninja. Using the first step of training for the Rasengan, Naruto creates a huge whirlpool that saves them. They then try to rescue Idate, but prove to be no match for Aoi, who poisons them and leaves. Sakura gives them all medicine Tsunade had given her, and they seek shelter in a cave. Idate explains that he was once a leaf ninja, but was tricked by Aoi into betraying the village after failing the Chunin exam. Fukusuk continues to celebrate with women and food when Ao. I warns him that he might be celebrating prematurely. Naruto Uzumaki, carrying Idate, ascends the long flight of stairs to the Midoroki shrine. Idate grabs the orb and heads out on his own two feet, but they are soon confronted by Aoi. Waiting with Toborama's sword of rage and that he had Idate steal for him. Both Naruto's Rasengan and Sasuke's Chidori are repelled by the sword, though the latter is able to crack it slightly. When Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno are defeated, it is up to Naruto to defeat Aoi so Idate can continue the race. After a few failed attacks, Naruto is finally able to defeat Aoi. Which means Idate can continue the race. Though Fukusuke is already near the finish line, with determination and encouragement from Naruto, Idate manages to catch up and win the race, saving the Wasabi clan. As Shikamaru is officially promoted to Chunin while Lee accepts undergoing the operation, Sasuke is recuperating in the hospital after the injuries he received in the land of tea. And, gry and jealous that Naruto has continued to get stronger while he is still not strong enough to defeat Itachi, he challenges Naruto to a fight when he and Sakura come to visit. Naruto accepts, and the two head to the roof. After exchanging several attacks, Naruto creates a Rasengan and Sasuke prepares his Chidori. The two rush towards each other, with Sakura screaming for them to stop. As Naruto and Sasuke are about to clash, Kakashi Hitaki appears and deflects them into different water towers. Sasuke finds Naruto's tower to be considerably worse off, and only comes to envy Naruto's strength more upon seeing the actual damage. Kakashi takes Sasuke aside and lectures him about not attacking friends. Sasuke said if anyone Kakashi cared about gets killed in front of him maybe he would think differently. Kakashi then tells him that he is too late to test it out, because they are all already dead. Kakashi tells Sasuke that revenge will not truly bring happiness to him and is the wrong answer and leaves him. Trusting he will not choose vengeance. Meanwhile, Sakura asks Naruto on a date that she had denied a long time ago when they were first assigned to Team 7. While Sasuke debates on W. Heather to stay with the villager take revenge on Itachi, the Sound 4 arrive and attack him. Sasuke continues his battle with the Sound 4, but eventually becomes too injured, including being weakened by using the curse mark. The Sound 4 tell stories of how Sasuke can become stronger if he would lend his power to Orochimaru. Sasuke, tired of playing ninja games, finally gives in, and goes to them. 
Sakura tries to stop him, but fails as Sasuke vanishes before she can persuade him more and he knocks Sakura unconscious after saying, thank you. When Sakura awakens, she informs Tsunade of Sasuke's defection. Unable to send higher ranking ninja after Sasuke, Tsunade orders Shikamaru Nara to assemble a team of genin under his lead to go after Sasuke. He selects Naruto, Neji Hayuga, Choji Akamichi, and Kiba Inazuka. And quickly devises the optimal formation for the group. Before they leave, Sakura pleads to Naruto to make sure to bring Sasuke back. Naruto promises to do so, and the group sets out. As the first step in gaining power, Sasuke's cursed seal must be advanced to its second state. For this to happen, the sound four seals Sasuke into a barrel and carry him from Konoha as his seal advances. They are confronted by two nearby Konoha ninja, Reido Namiyashi and Genma Shiranui, but eventually defeat them thanks to their cursed seals. After carrying Sasuke for a ways, the sound four takes a break giving the recently caught up retrieval team a chance to try a sneak attack. Their presence is detected, and the Sound 4 attacks them before they can make a move. Although th. E Sound 4's attack seems to force the retrieval team on the defensive, Shikamaru intended to be caught and uses the opportunity to capture the Sound 4 with his shadow. They manage to escape, and Gyrobo captures the retrieval team in a dome of rocks. As the other Sound 4 members go on ahead, Gyrobo absorbs the Konoha ninja's chakra. Before their chakra is completely absorbed, Choji manages to break out of the dome. Freeing the team. Freed, Choji volunteers to stay behind and deal with Gyrobo to give the rest of the team a chance to catch up to the other Sound 4 members. As the team goes on, Choji eats the first of the Akamaiki's three colored pills, increasing his strength. Doing so proves enough to overpower Gyrobo, forcing him to advance his cursed seal to its first level. With Gyrobo now having the upper hand, Choji takes the second Akamichi pill. With the second pill in his system, Choji uses the multi-size technique to dramatically increase his size and fall upon Gyrobo. To escape the crushing effects of Choji's increased bulk, Gyrobo advances to level 2 of his cursed seal, enabling him to lift Choji and toss him aside. Outmatched, Choji considers taking the last pill. While all of the pills he has taken thus far have been harmful to him, the third almost guarantees death to the user. Thinking of Shikamaru Nara, Choji takes the pill, allowing him to easily overpower and kill Gyrobo. His battle won. Choji begins to follow his friend's path, though falls unconscious before making it very far. When the retrieval team catches up with the Sound 4, they are quickly caught in Kitamaru's webs. As Kitamaru is about to finish off Naruto, Neji frees himself from the webbings and saves the rest of the team. Because only his gentle fist style can break Kitamaru's chakra-infused webbing. Neji decides to deal with him himself, instructs the others to go on without him, and begins to fight Kitamaru. Kitamaru finds out how Neji can cut his webbings. Although Kido, Maru soon believes himself to have the advantage, Neji readies his 8 trigram 64 palms to prove him wrong. Kitamaru manages to shield himself from the attack, and flees to the safety of the neighboring trees. Deciding to attack Neji from a distance, Kitamaru advances his seal to its first level and sends multiple spiders to attack Neji. Neji is able to repel them all, though Kitamaru n. Otis's a delayed reaction in some of Neji's blocks. He theorizes that Neji's defenses has a blind spot, and attacks him further from this blind spot. His theory is proven correct as Neji is unable to block the attack. Believing himself to have found Neji's weakness, Kitamaru prepares to finish the battle. After advancing his cursed seal to its second state and creating a bow and arrow with his webs, Kitamaru begins taking shots at Neji's blind spot. Neji is able to block the attacks enough to keep them from hitting vital areas, though is still left heavily damaged with each of Kitamaru's attacks. Ready to finish the battle. Kitamaru prepares his most deadly arrow for use, and fires it at Neji. 
Neji takes the arrow full force, though already knowing of his blind spot moves at the last Sikon. Need to keep the arrow from piercing his heart. With Kitamaru's arrow connected to him by a web, Neji sends his chakra into the web, paralyzing Kitamaru. As Kitamaru lies helpless, Neji approaches him and deals a finishing blow. His injuries too severe, Neji collapses, leaving the retrieval of Sasuke up to the others. Orochimaru, his body left useless after his failed invasion of Konoha, anxiously wa. It's for Sasuke so that he can switch to Sasuke's body. Although he puts it off for as long as he can, hoping that the sound 4 will arrive in time, his body brings him too much pain and he is forced to switch to the body of one of his prisoners. Elsewhere, the retrieval team catches up with the sound 4 and tries to get Sasuke back. Soon after the battle begins, Kiba and his dog, Akamaru, fall off a cliff with Saken. Shikamaru engages to Yuya while Naruto goes after Kimamaro, who is carrying Sasuke's coffin. Desperate to get Sasuke back, Naruto begins tapping into the demon fox's chakra to engage Kimamaro. As the battle between Shikamaru and Tuyuya begins, Tuyuya summons three creatures to help her in combat. With Kiba and Saken's battle already underway elsewhere, Saken's brother, Ukan reveals himself to help Saken fight. As Tuyuya guides her three beasts after Shikamaru, she activates the first level of her cursed seal to make controlling them easier. Naruto too begins his battle creating a great deal of shadow clones with which to attack Kimamaro, though Kimamaro is able to defeat the clones by the dozens. As the fight between Kiba and Akamaru vs Saken and Ukan rages on, UK. On pushes his cursed seal into its second level. Recognizing the huge increase in strength that this allows the brothers, Kiba and Akamaru combine to become a giant double-headed wolf. The combined beast charges towards Saken and Ukan though the brothers are able to block the attack. As the wolf transformation disperses, Akamaru is attacked and left heavily injured, and Ukan merges himself with Kiba's body. Needing to get rid of Ukan to save Akamaru, Kiba stabs himself in the stomach, causing him and Ukan to start coughing up blood. Ukan separates from Kiba and rejoins with Saken so that he can recover. Kiba finds Akamaru, and the two flee down river, hoping to escape the brothers. Naruto, meanwhile, is unable to make a dent in Kimamaro, and his shadow clones are still rapidly defeated before they can land a blow. Shikamaru, elsewhere, believes to have picked up on the movements of Taiyuya's creatures, though she quickly has them switch actions before Shikamaru can act. Despite Taiyuya's efforts, Shikamaru has devised a plan to defeat her creatures. Using a flashbang to lengthen the shadows in the area, Shikamaru captures the CR. Eachers and prepares to turn them against Tuyuya. To prevent this, Tuyuya calls off the creatures, making them disperse. Despite this, Tuyuya is captured by Shikamaru's shadow, forcing her to advance her seal to its second state to escape. With Tuyuya now strong enough to overpower his shadow, Shikamaru decides instead to use his shadow for attack, and attempts to use his shadow to strangle her. A. As Naruto starts getting frustrated with his lack of progress, Sasuke's cursed seal finally reaches its second level, allowing him to exit his coffin and go on ahead. Kimamaro prevents Naruto from going after him. Though the arrival of the newly recovered Rock Lee forces him to let Naruto go. Lee and Kimamaro begin exchanging blows, though Kimamaro's unique control over his bones makes things difficult for Lee. Soon after the fight begins, Lee asks for a timeout so that he can take his medicine. Kimamaro agrees, and Lee drinks the contents of his medicine bottle. Because Lee grabbed Sake Instia, D of medicine when he set out to help the retrieval team, Lee is immediately intoxicated, and attacks Kimamaro in a drunken frenzy. In his drunken form, Lee's movements are unpredictable and Kimamaro is left unable to dodge his attacks. As Lee begins gaining the advantage in the fight, Kimamaro is forced to use his more powerful abilities. Lee, however, begins to sober up, and reverts to his previous state. Easily being outclassed by Kimamaro. 
Kimamaro prepares to finish Lee off, Tuyuya starts fighting Shikamaru's shadow, and Sakin and Ukan find Kiba and Akamaru. Before any of the Sound 4 members can attack the Konoha Ninja, Gara, Tamari, and Konkuro arrive at each battle site to take care of the Sound 4 members themselves. The arrival of the Sand Ninja surprises the Konoha retrieval team in the Sound 4. Although the Konoha Ninja ask their saviors to flee, each refuses, having been asked to come to help by Tsunade. Kiba's nose saves Konkuro from a sneak attack. Ukan underest. The mates Konkuro and his puppet receding from their cursed seal state, but the latter is soon able to trap both Ukan and Sakin in a second of his puppets and kill them. With Temuri's arrival, Tuyuya as capes to the surrounding trees for cover, though Temuri's fan cuts through the forest, eliminating Tuyuya with ease. Lee, wanting to assist Gara in his fight, attacks Kimamaro, but his body's too wee. K and Gara tells him he's only getting in the way. Gara attacks him with his sand burial technique, but Kimamaro survives by hardening a layer of bone under his skin. Kimamaro remembers how he grew up in a cage because of his Keke Jenke, and the battle that killed all of his clan. It was Orokimaro who took him in and gave him a purpose. Kimamaro advances his cursed seal to the first then the second state and continues to fight. Much to Lee and Gara's dismay. All the while Naruto continues his relentless search for Sasuke. Recognizing the potency of Gara's attack and the strength of his defenses. Kimamaro hardens a bone around his arm into the shape of a drill. With this, his strongest weapon, Kimamaro charges at Gara, though Gara's final defense proves too much and it shatters. Calling upon the sand in the ground, Gara pulls Kimamaro deep underground, confining him there until his eventual death. As Kimamaro sinks, he creates a forest of bones to burst from the ground, which Gara is able to help Lee avoid at the last second. As the two sit, completely exhausted but relieved to have won, Kimamaro appears from one of the bones with his bone drill for a final attack. His D. Isis gets the best of him at the last second, and he dies before he can finish Gara and Lee. Gara reflects that like Lee and Naruto, Kimamaro had someone whom he cared for so much that every ill D. One to that person was done to him as well, someone he was willing to die for, and that even the companionship of an evil person can be preferable to loneliness. Elsewhere, Naruto has caught up to Sasuke. Naruto asks Sasuke if he is willing to turn his back on all of his friends in Konoha for the simple matter of getting stronger. Sasuke says yes and starts to walk away, enraging Naruto. Determine. D to bring Sasuke back to his senses into Konoha, Naruto grabs hold of him and starts to punch him. He makes Sasuke spit out blood with every punch, then Sasuke rallies and easily repels Naruto. Sass. Uke tells Naruto that he doesn't dream of the future, only the past, as he recalls his close bond with his older brother, Itachi. Naruto tries using force again, and attacks Sasuke but Sasuke dodges I. Tien uses dragon flame jutsu and sends it towards Naruto. Naruto rises from the flames unharmed, and Sasuke remembers his childhood, while doing battle with his enemy. Itachi used to be a cheerful Uchiha and a good brother. While being the Uchiha's best Anbu captains. Fugaku Uchiha always favored Itachi best. Sasuke tries to best Itachi, without success, until Itachi begins to become more distant from the clan. And started to rebel against the Uchiha's. Sasuke and Naruto's fight progresses slowly as Sasuke continues to remember his childhood. In his memories, Sasuke learns the fireball jutsu, thus gaining his father's attention. As Fugaku Uchiha tells him not to follow his brother's footsteps. He then starts to wonder if he is only to replace his brother. His mother confirms everything else is okay however. After doing this, he remembers heading to school and deciding that he will not lose to Itachi. In the present time, Naruto and Sasuke begin to fight. As Sasuke's remembrance of his childhood draws to a close, Sasuke returned home from the academy one day to find all the members of the Uchiha clan murdered. 
Upon finding his parents' bodies, Sasuke discovered Itachi to be responsible for the massacre. Using his Mangekio Sharingan, Itachi showed Sasuke their parents' deaths, causing Sasuke to run with fright. Itachi stopped him, telling him that he wasn't worth killing. As Itachi left, he informed Sasuke that if he wanted to take revenge for the clan, he would need to get stronger. To help Sasuke gain the strongest ability of the Uchiha, Itachi tells Sasuke the requirement. T.S. to obtain his own Mangekio Sharingan, he must kill his closest friend. With that, Itachi left, leaving Sasuke to build a hate for his brother. Resolving to get stronger, Sasuke decided he would do whatever was necessary to kill Itachi. Returning to the present day, he tells Naruto that he will kill him because Naruto is his best friend. While Naruto Uzumaki battles Sasuke Uchiha, Kakashi Hitaki learns of Sasuke's defection from Tsunade and is confronted by Sakura Haruno. After trying to calm Sakura down, Kakashi heads off to search for Sasuke and Naruto. Meanwhile, believing Naruto to be his closest friend, Sasuke prepares to kill him in hopes that Naruto's death would be an acceptable price for his Sharingan to evolve into a Mangekio Sharingan. Naruto's Rasengan and Sasuke's Chidori clash, though neither is capable of overpowering the other. Activating his cursed seal in order to gain an advantage, Sasuke mercilessly beats Naruto but his Chidori nearly hits Naruto's heart. While Sasuke thinks the battle to be won, the Nine Tails Chakra begins to envelop Naruto as his wounds are healed as he resolves to beat Sasuke to a bloodied pulp if that is what it will take to bring him home. Naruto's newfound power overwhelms Sasuke as he yells at Naruto about not knowing how it feels to lose a family. But Naruto, having known the pain of not having a family, explains that he considers Sasuke as a brother. Sasuke puts on his headband while proclaiming that Naruto will not be able to hit it as he manages to fully develop his Sharingan and is now able to read Naruto's quick movements and counterattack. Even when using Shadow Clones, Sasuke manages to inflict numerous devastating and bone-crushing attacks on Naruto. It is not until Sasuke slams him from the sky all the way to the ground that Naruto is still unbeaten. Needing more strength to fight, Naruto calls upon even more of the Nine Tails Chakra as it covers his body. Due to the movement of the Chakra Cloak, Sasuke cannot read Naruto's movements. This shroud also acts as a shield, and Sasuke's attacks are quickly dispersed before reaching Naruto. The tangible chakra also acts as a potent weapon, negating the Sherry. Nan's prediction abilities and allowing Naruto to attack from afar by extending the chakra into a claw-like attack. As the demon fox form continues its ravaging onslaught, Sasuke is put on the defensive. Forcing him to advance his cursed mark powers to its final level to compensate. After activating stage 2 of his cursed mark, Sasuke transforms into a winged equal to Naruto in power. Both remembering their time as teammates, Sasuke enlightens Naruto that they are in the final valley, and mentions the irony of it as a fitting place to settle things between them once and for all. With Naruto and Sasuke at their peaks of power, the two prepare their final attacks, Naruto's Nine Tails Chakra infused Rasengan and Sasuke's Curse Mark enhanced Chidori collide and forming a dome around the 2B. OYS as they exchange numerous blows before Sasuke slashes Naruto's chest. With the last of his strength, Naruto succeeds leaving a deep scratch on Sasuke's headband. Standing over Naruto, Sasuke at MPTS how impressed he was in his opponent's last act before his headband fall off. Refusing to follow the same path as his brother and also remembering what Naruto means to him, Sasuke decides to gain power his own way and heads to Orochimaru. Kakashi arrives soon after to see a knocked out and injured Naruto, carrying him away while unaware that a mysterious member of the Akatsuki had watched the entire fight unfold from underground. Briefly coming to on Kakashi's back as the rest of the Sasuke retrieval team is brought back to the Hidden Leaf to make full recovery, Naruto learns that Sasuke escaped. 
Once fully recovered in his hospital bed, Naruto talks to Shikamaru Nara of how he failed to get Sasuke. Eavesdropping on them and reluctant to enter until Tsunade arrived to check up on Naruto. Sakura resolves to hide her sadness to cheer her teammate up as he apologizes to her for not keeping his promise. But Sakura tells him that they'll get Sasuke back together when another chance comes. Jiraiya offers Naruto a chance to leave with him for three years to train to defend himself against Orochimaru and the Akatsuki. Naruto rebukes his offer, saying that he needs to focus on saving his friend first. Though Jiraiya tries to convince him that Sasuke is beyond the point of return, Naruto refuses to accept it and vows to become strong enough to get Sasuke back. Though seeing the boy's intent foolish, Jiraiya decides to help Naruto and agrees to train him when he is ready. Elsewhere, as Sasuke arrives to Orochimaru's lair to become his apprentice, the Akatsuki assemble to discuss the new turn of events while their leader tells them that their mission is more vital. Jiraiya begins to worry about Naruto and Sakura's well-being. He then requests that Tsunade send the two on a mission with him. He finds Naruto, telling Sakura he is not going to stop her from going after Sasuke, but he is going with her, and tells them about the mission. They head off to the land of rice fields to find the hidden sound village. And hopefully Sasuke as well. Naruto, Sakura, and Jiraiya end up in a town that is worse than the one out of which they were chased. Jiraiya heads off and leaves Naruto and Sakura to get food. Along the way, they find the female ninja that attacked them before. Because the ninja is injured, Naruto and Sakura fight some sound ninja to save her. They then learn that her name is Sasama, and that she is looking for her cousin Arashi, who went with several members of their clan to join Orochimaru to revive the clan. When Sasama drugs Naruto, Sakura and Jiraiya, s. He prepares to let them be given to Orochimaru in order for her to be led to Arashi. But, when she discovers that they were planning to be killed, she begs the ones about to do so to stop. Naruto Rev. Owls that he and the others faked being put to sleep, and attack. Kajuro attacks Naruto and Jiraiya with a powerful technique that shortens her life, then escapes with Jigumo and Kamikiri. When Jigumo and Kamikiri discover that they were being used by Orochimaru, they attack him, but are apparently killed. Sasama leads Naruto, Jiraiya, and Sakura to Orochimaru's hideout. They send Sasama back to the village because of the danger level. Jiraiya summons Gamakichi to go in first and investigate. The four come to three tunnels. Jiraiya goes off to the right, Naruto and Sakura down the middle and Gamakichi down the left. Through the tunnels, they find several deadly booby traps and dangers. Naruto easily falls for the first, but manages to rescue Sakura from the rest. It comes to the point where, either is a trap door in which Naruto saves Sakura from, falling into it himself. He tells her to go on without him. Sakura trusts him and leaves, Naruto ends up in a dark room with many bamboo sticks and struggles to get free. Meanwhile. As Sakura enters a large vacant room she battles Kabuto Yakushi and Orochimaru, who already have the upper hand. In the room Naruto's in, he encounters Gamakichi, who seems to be of no use in his struggle, the room soon floods with water. Sakura attempts to battle Kabuto, telling him that she believes Naruto and herself will save Sasuke together. She soon low. Sees focus when Kabuto begins harassing her with thoughts of Sasuke's inevitable death. He states that, Sasuke is already dead, and you too can meet with him in the afterlife. She begins sobbing and, remains still as Kabuto is about to murder her. Naruto arrives in the nick of time to save Sakura, but she is still petrified in tears. Naruto tells her not to believe him, takes her away and a battle ensues. Naruto battles Kabuto viciously using shadow clones, but Kabuto defeats them with a fire technique. Eventually, Naruto corners and defeats him with the Rasengan, injuring him badly. Although appeared defeated, Kabuto traps him in some chakra threads immune to normal blades that connect their hearts, if Kabuto's heart stops, so will Naruto's. 
he states that he is willing to sacrifice himself to please Orochimaru. Before Kabuto can crush his own heart, Sasama arrives and gives Sakura a tag to wrap on her kunai. Sakura cuts off Kabuto's threads and frees Naruto. Sasama reveals that the C. Hakra threads are a special technique of the Fuma clan. A dying Kabuto's mask is removed and it is revealed that it was Kajiro all along. Orochimaru arrives and in turn removes his mask to reveal he is in fact Arashi. Arashi begins to transform into a monster. Naruto takes on Arashi, but gets trapped and beaten easily. Sakura thinks he's dead and Naruto ends up blowing his sneak attack cover to protect her. Getting pierced by the spine. Naruto tries his attack again, but his injury causes a problem. Naruto gets trapped in an attack that will crush him if he doesn't get out. Sasama attacks Era. She and manages to set him free for a second. However, it doesn't last long and he soon tries to kill Sasama. Sakura jumps in the way and says she will give her life to protect her friends. Naruto T.E.L. L.S. her she can't die and Arashi tries to finish Naruto off. Sasama causes enough of a distraction for Naruto to break free. The attack caused by Naruto frees Arashi, and Arashi protects Sasama from the monster that was part of his body. The place begins to collapse and Jiraiya arrives. Arashi throws them out and tells them he can't leave since he is a puppet. He tells Naruto that Sasuke is alive and they all leave. Leaving Arashi behind, the Fuma clan promises to rebuild their town and everyone heads back to Konoha. Considering herself to have been of little use, Sakura asks to become Tsunade's pupil and learn to become a medical ninja. She also meets Naruto in the hospital and thanks him, insisting that next time, she would help him save Sasuke.